Hello everyone, my name is Eric, the CEO of Emu Technology, and thank you for having me today. Today uh, I'm going to talk about tactile enhanced word models. How touch can reshape the way robots understand the physical world. Over the past decades, computer vision has given machines the ability to see the world. Yet, human understanding of the physical world extends far beyond vision. We sense properties, whether they are smooth or rough, soft or rigid, fragile or sharp. Interestingly, unlike seeing and hearing, touch is inseparable from execution. In contact-rich tasks, the hand is no longer just a actuator. It becomes a powerful sensor. This dual role makes touch fundamental for understanding 3D structures and manipulating the physical world. What is true for human is equally true for robots. Let's do an experiment. Please put your hands into your pockets and try to feel objects, corn, key, or tissue, right? So we as human can recognize objects only through touch, without even to seeing them. And in that process, you are not calculating weight, uh, friction, efficiency, or force, right? Human perception of object is never about equations. That is interesting, right? And instead, through repeated contact, your brain reconstructs the object, its shape, material, and texture. This knowledge is encoded as memory and uh, intuition, not as raw measurements. So what if the robots someday could learn from the touch the way we do? Not only seeing the world, but uh, also by exploring it, touching it, reconstructing it. That will be the moment when word models can reach their final destination. And how do we do that today? The most important question to answer is that we need to have a human-like tactile sensor, one that feels the world as we do. So we want to build one. The first of all, to build the best tactile sensor, uh, the hardware design must satisfy four key criteria. Human-like working principle, the architecture, performance, and shape. Secondly, we work really hard on system-level engineering to build a robust and high-fidelity tactile sensor. This ensures spatial consistency, temporal stability, signal integrity, and biological conformity. The third lies in models. We combine a lightweight MLP-based model and end-to-end multimodal large model. With that, to achieve a balance between precision and generalization. So, here it is. Today, we are proud to introduce Emu's cutting-edge fingertip tactile sensor, a design that pushes tactile sensing to its limit. So it is the first, the thinnest commercialized sensor. It is the first sensor that unaffected by temperature drift, the first with an IP65 design, the first with no spatial blind zones. In addition, it delivers micron live depth sensation 3D forces resolution of 5 mN, 8 milliseconds response time, and durability beyond a million touches. So here it is. Let us see how it works. amazing, but we did not stop here. With this powerful weapon, we aim to enhance war models with tactile data. So VLA is widely recognized as a crucial pathway toward AGI, enabling robots to perceive, reason, and act. We propose to add tactile information to the VLA model, allowing robots to capture more hidden properties that vision alone could not provide. With this shift from VLA to VTLA, it enables robots and AI systems to transition from observing the environment to acting on it, 
to gain a more nuanced understanding, creating the foundation for the embodied intelligence. To enable machines to learn like human does, we must digitize the physical world not just with geometry, but also with tactile properties like force, texture, stiffness. While vision provides the appearance of objects, tactile sensing adds essential physical properties, turning geometric models, the pixels, into physical grounded voxels. However, there is another problem. Unlike navigation or locomotion, manipulation requires contact-rich data. That is difficult to collect, expensive to scale, and hard to generate. We propose a new paradigm for solving this data shortage problem. Traditionally, we collect data manually. It is in a linear manner. This is far from enough. The key to break that limit is simulation. But grounded every simulation in real tactile data. So the real world provides reliable data, that's for certainty, while simulation allows for rapid data generation, that's for efficiency. Together, they bridge the same to real gap and push embodied intelligence toward the own scaling model. So this is an example for using simulated tactile data to train robots for liquid handling in a lab scenario. Then we expand that simulation through domain randomizations by varying the lighting, texturing, and object placement, and so on. And finally, we will have a well-trained model for a lab automation. Here is a demo. Transparent glassware manipulation is quite challenging. Let's see how it does it. use a dropper as a human, and it's more difficult for a robot. So the robots have to practice this in a simulated environment for hundreds of thousands of times before being deployed to the real world. So that's pretty interesting, huh? We are still working, trying to push the embodied intelligence forward and tackling more complex tasks with tactile enabled dexterous hands. So please stay tuned and please follow us by this WeChat or email or go to our booth to check out our products. This is all I have for today. Thank you very much. <laughs>